Hi there, welcome to the RPS project. Today I'm going to be looking at an OR gate, that is the CD4075BE, which is a triple three input OR gate. Sounds very simple, hopefully it really should be. Um, three OR gates in one package, um, three inputs per OR gate, with obviously one output. Sounds very simple, so I'll start with a couple of diagrams on the whiteboard and then move on to the breadboard and actually see if I can get this working. So here we have the uh, diagram on the whiteboard. Um, basic setup, I've drawn it out as um, it would be done in the uh, data sheet rather than sort of chip layout. Um, three gates, three OR gates, three inputs per gate. Now they always have this strange lettering um, system. Um, pins one, two, eight is C, B and A with the output being on pin nine, so that's J. Now I'm gonna use this one on the actual breadboard, because it's just easier to set up uh, for 11, 12 and 13. Output on pin 10, as they put it, it's I, H and G, G, H, I, whatever, with the output being L. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Again, this is, uh, uh, voltages are three to 18 volts on the input, on the voltage supply, and your input can be, I suppose, almost at that. I'm gonna put in at about five volts I'm going to use a resistor divider to um, give me about five volts on the input with a little switch, so a little momentary switch, press each one, give me an output. So very simple setup. So that's well, that's the the IC. That's it in its basic. So um, let's have a quick look at the um, truth table because it should be pretty simple as well because it's only uh, three inputs, one output. Uh, have a quick look at that and um, see what that tells us. So here we have the truth table. It's a very simple truth table because it's only three inputs, so I'm using inputs I, H and G with the output being L. Um, in this um, particular device, the, the CD4075. And with this one, as an OR gate, any input going high is going to give me a high output. And that's even if we have more than one input being high, I'm still going to get a high output. So the only scenario we get where there's a low is if all three inputs are low, I get no output. Any input, including more than one input, going high, will give me a high output. So this is quite a really simple device. Any high gives me a high output, regardless of any other condition. It's only if we have all three are low input, or zero input, that we'll get a low output. So. Let's have a look at that on the breadboard. I've got it made up and just make sure that actually does that. Okay, so I've got this set up on the breadboard now. It's the CD4075BE and I'm using inputs 11, 12 and 13. Just a basic resistor divider um, just to give me about 5 volts on the input. So the output is coming directly out to the LED with out there uh, being any dropper resistor in there. Um, I could put one in maybe if I wanted just to control it better but I, I don't need to, it seems to work alright I think. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Um, so yeah, three buttons, I got a big chunky, I only had two of these um, tactile ones so I, I had to use this big chunky green button as well. Um, I'm sure I've got some more of these somewhere but uh, never mind. It still does the job so basically being an OR gate, if I press any one of these three inputs, I'll get an output, which will be shown by this LED. Oh, there we go. And if I press this one, I get an output. Very simple. Any input, input one, or two, or three, or in this case, inputs G, H, or I, will give me an output, so that's brilliant. thing with this one, um, if I have more than one input into the device, I still get an output, which is different to an exemplary OR, because with an exemplary OR, if I press this input and this one, I'd get no output, but with this being a basic OR gate, one input, get an output, two inputs, still get an output, three inputs, still get an output, two inputs like that, so if I press all three, 
I've still got an output. It's only when I don't have an input that I don't have an output. Very, very simple. Very easy to use. We've got three um, logic gates in one IC and any input, that one, or that one, or that one, or all three of them, will give me an output. Brilliant. What can I say? So there you go. Triple input OR gate. Exceptionally simple, very easy to set up. It's a basic IC, doesn't need much messing about. Just need to get the um, uh, voltage input set correctly, which is really quite simple. It gives you all the data in the data sheet as to what you need to do to get an output. So what more can I say about it? It is a very simple um, IC. Three gates in one, what more can I say? And of course you can chain this with other logic gates or somewhere else in the circuit to get a particular output if you require a certain logical process in there. So yeah, uh, on its own, doesn't do a great deal I suppose, but um, in a, an entire circuit then it's uh, very, very useful. Very, very simple. Give it a go. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and all comments are welcome. See you next time.